Ready? <laughs> yeah. How you doing? I'm Taylor Kitch. I'm Jeff Bridges. I'm Miles Teller. I'm Jennifer Connolly. And we are going to discuss firefighter slang. 101. 101, yes. Hot shot group. Oh, easy. Hit it. Yeah, they're the uh, they're our elite group of wildland firefighters, and they're the best line of defense we have. Boom. To become uh, a hot shot is you know quite difficult. And one thing that's kind of I think quite yeah. amazing about the hot shot crews is they don't use water to fight fires um, because they're generally in the wilderness hiking into these remote locations with huge packs on their backs, and they actually cut lines and um, cut down trees and use fire to fight fires. Next one is can. Oh, that's a, that's a wire extinct. <laughs> one more time. It's a okay. water extinguisher. Okay. Yeah. All right, I think we can do this one. Cut lines. So basically, if your fire is on, like, if this is your 3D thing, your fire's here, what you want to do is set a perimeter around the fire. So you have to dig and cut line with, um, uh, what's our, our number one tool? Uh, Pulaski. Pulaski yeah. uh, rakes, uh, obviously shovels, chainsaws, to everything else that uh, you need for that. When they cut the lines, as far as I understand it, is they're cut trying to eliminate the fuel because all of that growth, all of the brush, um, is just more for the fire to consume. So they try to eliminate that so that they can um, control Contain. the fire. Engineer. That's the guy who drives the fire truck. All right, just blew that one out. Uh, pipe. You never use the word hose. True. It's pipe, man. True. You are right? Yes, okay. you're right. Yeah. You're killing it. Tanker. So a tanker is a truck that's holding all the water so that you can fight fire. That's more for, that's for structure and wildland fire. They don't use water to suppress it, but we're knowledgeable in all types of fighting fire, so. <laughs> all right, Proby. Those are guys who are on trial, right? You, yeah, you know, on you probation. Yeah, on probation, employment. yeah. Yeah, they're not sure if they're going to be a hot shot or not. PPE, personal protective equipment. Next, here we go. Water drop. Yeah, water drop is when you know it's a large area and you'll have a plane or some overhead uh, vehicle kind of. They'll drop a slushy, which is uh, a mixture of material that uh, will help you um, put out the fire. Retardant as well, and it's when, also very dangerous. Just how hard that water drops, it smashes the trucks, and it can literally wipe you out. They'd come what like 60 feet above the uh, ground as well. Pilots are very good at what they do. Dalmatian. Okay, now I'm going to ask you, Taylor, and I have a feeling you are so schooled in this stuff that you're going to know why are Dalmatians involved with firefighters in the first place? So back in the day when uh, firefighters were fighting fire on horseback, oh. the Dalmatians were the only dogs at the time that would get along while they run alongside these firefighters on horseback. So they became oh, they um, got along with the, the, horses. Yeah, so the dogs that were that kind of... Yeah, yeah. That's so interesting. Isn't that yeah. interesting? Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, thanks yeah. for that. <laughs>